check out Conflict 50. Should be a great match at 125 pounds. Full rules, Muay Thai, no shin guards, no headgear, as Amy Peduto and Wendy and Hudson take center stage. Amy starting off strong. That's interesting. Wendy right? coming in with the tight box and that overhook landed. Good inside switch kick. Staying tight with the uppercuts underneath the guard. Landing big punches off the bat. And we see now she's controlling the footwork at punch range. Amy marching back in, heavy low kicks. It's interesting that I it, like the head movement from Wendy to start off. It's interesting that Amy is pushing the action forward here. We, we saw uh, Wendy's kind of looking at her kick placements. You see her looking at the legs. Sometimes you got to look for them. Sometimes you can use that to, to create a fake read. Both girls catching each other with some tight hooks in front. That hook from Wendy is landing big time. And yeah. there she did. She looked at the leg and went to the head. Big cross again. Those uppercuts from Wendy are getting tighter and tighter. And that switch kick from Wendy is on point right now. Uh, but let me tell you, Look, she's crowding Amy Peduto. Yeah, Amy is having a hard time with this pressure right now. You know, she's usually the one no. engaging this pressure. And there we go. She shoots a double leg. A like, level like change? A, she, she, well, that's slick. That's how she knows how to go into the clinch. She put her head into that chest, put on the cage, and just stalled. But that I was like, was man. That was extremely slick, actually. And great jab off the bat. Now, one thing I will say about Amy Peduto in this fight so far is she is investing heavily in that leg kick, and it's already yes. showing on a nuts. Yes. Ooh. Oh, wow. But Wendy, yeah, she, yeah, Amy's going back to that leg again. Wendy really finding, peppering that head damage right now. But it, she's starting to show that leg kick and heavy. She, and she doesn't like it either. Yeah. It's, and now it's starting to really That's, that's the, the downside of landing great punches is that your leg is going to be open. Oh, man. Man, Big she, shot exchanges from both of these ladies. They both landed really cleanly there. Amy Pedro's got oh, a nasty good, jab, good kick man. out. Great body kicks. Like I said, man, Wendy has very tight kicks. And the boxing is something else from Wendy right now. Amy has to tighten that guard up and look to try. She needs to look to fight in with elbows. Great deep and low kick counter. The jab to the head and body. Amy, I'm a big fan of hers, but she was kind of showing it on her face when she was getting hit. Especially in the yeah. in the opening seconds there. Yeah. As, the, as the round went on, she did much better of dealing with the pressure. And, yeah. that, and that outside leg kick to the thigh, you know, it's not something you see a ton of in MMA anymore because the calf kick's kind of taken over. Yeah. But, man, it sucks. Yeah, Amy really needs to look at shutting down that leg and punching her way into the clinch behind that. If you can stick Wendy in place and punch in or lead with elbows into that clinch, that's your best bet. This is true. What Wendy has point. to do is start pulling that leg back on that low kick to bait her back in because that pullback to uppercut is there. She's landing the uppercuts, but it's kind of taking damage back. Every time she pulls that low kick back, she's going to find that uppercut and hook again. Truly a special moment that we're witnessing here yeah, with Anna Tool, ring, ring card girl, and cornering. I mean, I don't know if you're, if you're watching this combat cast broadcast, you might also, never see Also, something like to point out, the guard difference between Wendy and Amy. Wendy, with the much tighter boxing guard, you see she start out hard blocking. Amy's a bit more open, looking for a kick fight. But that open, yeah, I was going to say that open, that open guard has protected her from the high kick. Yes, it's done. It's done a wonderful job of protecting her from that high kick. And then Wendy starting off strong with the hands, pulling out of range, and now she's trying to pull Amy into the boxing matches. Yeah, and that, that outside body kicks, Chris. Now, now Wendy's there's getting some the adjustment. Check. Yeah, there's some adjustment. There's some uh, checking going on. And like I said, you you can see the physical difference of when like. She, like Amy's getting hit by Wendy. Wendy is a strong puncher. And Amy's now introducing the clinch. You've got to think yeah, that was the advice. Yeah, great knee in the clinch. And you can see, like, Amy has some good frames. Wendy is doing the right thing of sucking her onto her. Good right hand. Very dominant showing from Wendy with the hands right now. Amy's, Amy's got that jab. And that look at this. Amy's nasty. body is starting to show some damage. So something I like to preach is that the best way to shut down someone, someone's punches is with a tight switch kick. Mm. Their arm's going to get hit or their liver's going to get hit. And if you're getting back and forth on the head and the body, your gas tank will go, go out and the shots start adding up. Yeah, I'm really actually impressed with, with the nonsense gas tank because yeah. she's been throwing a lot of volume. Wh she's been hitting and missing and she's not yeah. slowing down. Well, Wendy does a great job of when she misses, it's a tight reset. She's getting better head movement. And now Amy, like I said, she is still marching in. She needs to get her into that cage and pressure in. She needs to try and keep Wendy on that cage right there. She definitely can't be reaching for those low kicks. Great check. Ooh, Wendy didn't like that check. You don't really want to get into a... Oh, big hook up tight. What Wendy doesn't want to do is get a kicking battle because Amy Perduto is a much Man, superior Man, these kicker. right hands are something else from Wendy. Yeah, they're terribly... Great head movement in that, like I said, the big thing about this, ooh, the elbow is right there from Amy. That was a big introduction and, there. And great knees from Wendy. 
this clinch fight is, like I said, it'll be, even though it's MMA versus Muay Thai, it's going to be way tighter than we would think. I'm really impressed with Amy Peduto in the clinch. She's, hand, she's actually yeah. handling this girl when she needs to in the clinch, which is saving her. Uh, well, I'll say, round. like, they're, it's, oh, gets a good shot at the end. Um, Amy is is clinching up well. Now, the knees back and forth are getting even. Amy has to look for those elbows to try and get ahead. But right now, I'll say it's 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 2 nothing for Wendy. I think it's a closer fight than that. I really? honestly do. I think that last round I know, like, the low kicks forth. are landing, but just for me, it's like, I know the low kicks are landing. However, it's just that the, this is that, that time that the punches can well, beat the kick fight because you see Amy is backing up from the exchanges, but Wendy's not backing up from the kicks. Points are points, but damage is damage in this fighting game. Yes, it is. And it, and it really is one of those things where it's like, you'll have a lot of judges that don't really see the, the true value of a leg kick. And, right, and, and, right. Know, that, that happens a lot. However, one low kick doesn't beat five clean punches. Does Correct. that make sense? No, like, no, well, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, wait, there's my slogan again. I, wow. <laughs> but and if you're watching at home, you can play the Trevor Hayes drinking game by taking a shot every time Trevor says, does that make sense? Amy Good luck getting up for church tomorrow. And Wendy and Hudson. Got yeah, no, th this well. is a very close fight, but but I'm really impressed at how Wendy, her, her boxing to me is kind of dictating this fight. Yeah. Amy's staying tight, but but shots landing or shots landing. She's also putting on a great showing considering the differential of, of And it's of also, like, we, ha we also have to show that Wendy has landed a lot of body kicks. Yeah. Don't forget, she's probably landed more kicks than Amy. Every Ooh, time great Amy exchanges from Amy. This is that great pressure. This is that hard thing that Amy is now really pouring that pressure on in the third round. And Wendy, Wendy is just firing down that middle. She can't dive in there anymore. Great read from, from Amy. And now Amy is really turning it on. Inside elbow attempts again. Big knee. Hey, and now we see that Wendy's on a bit of a different base. This third round is turning out into a bit of a different fight. Amy's doing everything she needs to do right now, in my yeah. opinion. Really great adjustments from the Jeff Green. Ooh, yeah, huge adjustments. Great start to the and third round. And, and this is this is that big thing of having 12 fights and doing just striking. You'll see MMA, MMA fighters can sometimes punch themselves out going that third round. Every single time Amy takes a step back, I keep seeing Jeff do the come on with his fingers. So he's telling her, like, forward, 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 forward. Yeah, forward. and now we've got Wendy taking some of this control back. But then Amy is marching right back down. Wendy's having a hard time keeping up in this third. Great pressure from Amy. Well, Amy's hey, really taken over in this third. With the volume from with the volume Wendy was putting out the first two rounds, I, I thought it would be a matter of time before that and the leg kicks started to affect the gas tank. Amy's head movement oh. is great now too. She's not taking Yeah, she's these moving punches. a lot more offline. That last oh, shot landed heavy. That was a big that shot. That last shot as soon as he called for the head like those those shots landed just in a row and that chin had changed the course a little bit. That's the commentator's curse. <laughs> Not a lot of time left to work for these two young ladies in a super close yeah, fight. Super close fight. The back and forth has been unreal. You boys got to pay attention because these women are just fighting like dogs tonight. And you notice that they went no shin guards too. Yeah, and, and, and if that's your, ooh, ooh, big punches. And those bare shins really add up. Both of these girls are really looking to put a statement on this round because. Wow, big knows. finish to the end of the round. And they just beat the hell out of each other in the middle of the round. That is, this room is on its feet. That was a phenomenal fight between two very, very phenomenal women. Yeah. What a fight. Man, I think it really comes down to how you see that second round. And I said it was close. Yeah. You think that. I, I, so me personally, I mean, I kind of feel like Wendy controlled the fight for the first two rounds. So what Amy did in the and then second a, round. What Amy came, came out and did in the third round, if that's how she started, it would have been different. But, like, Wendy really started to lead the dance with that boxing in the first two rounds. Yeah. And, you know, she kind of turned it into her fight. So You know, even though Amy landed the low kicks, don't forget, Wendy just landed a ton of liver kicks and head kicks. What I saw in the second round that Amy did to kind of start steering the fight back yes. in the right direction was she was walking Wendy onto her jab. Yes. And when the jab wasn't there, she was always, always, always throwing that leg kick. Yes, yes, She was beginning yes. to dissuade Wendy and forcing Wendy to come further inside. And then when the well, clinch game got introduced, she started sneaking in the elbow. The elbows a little so, bit, I mean, yeah. I think but I don't, I don't think close. there were enough elbows to really so in, in the Eduardo fight he landed a lot of elbows a lot and if this is if that's how the judges are scoring tonight then they probably didn't count any of those elbows she really threw we'll see we'll see the, the, the clinching was very hey, brief hey, that was an hey. amazing fight you know there's a lot of counting going they're on they're taking right a here. lot of yeah. time with these scorecards they're taking a lot of time with these scorecards 
And we can see Wendy's leg is showing the damage, but also Amy's body is showing where that switch can be. Oh, wow. Man, like Amy really poured it on in that last that last round. Yes. I think she won the second round too. Yeah, and I see like it was the clinching the elbows on the inside that gave her the advantage. Yeah. A great fight. A great fight between two really great Muay Thai fighters. Yeah. And well, an MMA fighter sport. versus a Muay Thai fighter.